The application of a Decton ventilated facade should always be carried out under the instruction and technical advice of Cosentino, using approved systems and by firms specialized in this sector. A ventilated facade is a constructive solution that requires prior work in the architect's studio to guarantee the compatibility of the materials used and to ensure that the supporting surface is strong enough to withstand high wind loads and their effects. An engineer prepares a project plan for the facades according to the architect's plans, calculating and designing the structure based on the distribution of slabs. This prior work results in a number of manufacturing reports where the size of the slabs and the necessary preparation in relation to the system chosen to attach the slabs are indicated. In accordance with the orders of manufacture, the material will reach the worksite palletized and identified for on-site storage. On-site marking begins by using a laser mechanism or similar system to first mark the vertical lines for the placement of the brackets and to check the alignment of the holes and the corners. The brackets should always be attached to sturdy elements and retaining brackets are combined with support brackets to allow for the expansion of the aluminum edging that will be attached to the brackets. The brackets are placed at the distances indicated in the facade project plan. After the brackets have been installed, the vertical profiles are added and their verticality and alignment are checked. The expansion joints of the building must be respected. The profiles must be installed from the top down and their length must not exceed 6 meters. The profiles are attached to the support brackets by drilling through the side sections of the profiles and inserting a through bolt for each bracket. The vertical distance between brackets is usually 1.5 meters to facilitate spacing floor by floor, but this will depend on the attachment system used and the requirements of the project. The vertical profiles should never have butt joints and 10 and 12 millimeters should be allowed for expansion. Vertical profiles must be plumbed and aligned vertically and horizontally while being installed. After the vertical uprights have been attached, the horizontal ones can be put in place according to the facade's plans. Where they cross the vertical profiles, the horizontal ones are attached to them with two self-drilling screws. A corner profile and the same screws must be used for inside and outside corners. A continuous chamber at least three centimeters wide, ventilated by natural convection behind the cladding, must be ensured to prevent condensation and provide optimal thermal performance. Once the substructure has been installed, the positioning of the Decton cladding can begin. This is done from the bottom up. Each piece already has its profiles attached according to its intended position on the facade. To put these large slabs into place, suction cups are used to allow the correct positioning of each slab. Horizontal joints can vary between 4 and 8 millimeters and vertical joints can be set at between 4 and 10 millimeters. To prevent any movement of the horizontal slabs by a possible settling of the building, key joints are placed to prevent any movement. Once the cladding has been installed, specific places where it meets the windows, the roof, etc. must be finished according to the technical plan. As the scaffolding is dismantled, the slabs will be placed using the anchors used by the scaffolding. To allow air to circulate in the air gap, the joints between slabs are left open. They must also be left open at the base of the facade and where the slabs meet openings to allow air to enter and exit. The finishing solution for where the slabs meet openings has been resolved with metal pieces that make up the surround of the window. For the top of the facade, an aluminum flashing is also used. A Decton ventilated facade results in a tough facade that is durable and low maintenance. Its durability allows large slabs to be used without needing to increase the substructure for their installation. 
The large format slabs can be adapted to any design without limitations and can be integrated with other materials such as glass. Its color stability with regard to weather conditions affords it not only aesthetic durability but technical durability as well.